Hey everyone, welcome back to Final Focus Studies. If you're in your sixth semester of your degree and have your cost control and management accounting exam coming up, then this video is crucial for you. We're going to quickly break down the question paper pattern so you know exactly what to expect. As you can see here, the total marks for the exam are 80 and you'll have three hours to complete it. The passing marks are between 32 and 36. The paper is divided into two parts, part A and part B. Part A consists of eight short answer questions. You need to answer any five out of these eight questions. Each question in part A carries four marks, making this section worth a total of 20 marks. Five questions X, four marks, and that's 20 marks. These short questions will cover topics from all the units in your syllabus, so make sure you have a good understanding of the basics across the board. Now let's move on to part B. This section is where the major marks are worth a total of 60 marks. Five questions, x 12 marks, at 60 marks. In part B there will be five questions, and you have to answer all of them. Importantly, each of these five questions will have an OR option, meaning you'll have an internal choice within each question. Looking at the pattern, question number nine has options from Introduction to Management Account and Marginal Costing, or Decision Making. Question 10 gives you a choice between budgets and budgetary control, or standard costing and variance analysis. Question 11 has techniques of financial statement analysis, or ratio analysis. Questions 12 and 13 specifically focus on funds flow analysis, and cash flow analysis respectively, with a choice between a theory-based question on just part A, or a problem-based question, part B for each. And now let's move on to unit one. Today we'll break down the key concepts you need to know. Let's get started. First, let's define management accounting and its importance. Management accounting provides financial and non-financial information to managers for decision making, planning and control. It's important for planning, controlling operations, evaluating performance, managing costs and strategic decisions. Next, let's see second question. Define and differentiate between marginal and absorption costing. Marginal costing assigns only variable costs to products, treating fixed costs as period costs. Absorption costing assigns all costs, both variable and fixed, to products. The key differences are, marginal costing treats fixed costs as period costs. Absorption costing includes them in product costs. Marginal costing uses the contribution concept. Absorption costing doesn't. Finally, let's define decision-making and explain the make-or-buy decision. Decision-making is selecting a course of action from available alternatives to achieve a goal. A make-or-buy decision involves choosing whether to produce a product or service internally, or purchase it externally. Factors to consider include cost, quality, capacity, expertise, and risk. The advantages of make and buy. Make offers control, customization and potential quality control. Buy can provide cost savings, specialized expertise, and reduced risk. And that's a quick overview of the important questions from Unit 1. But remember, this is just the beginning. We're creating an entire playlist covering all the subjects in your degree. To help you even more, we're providing a free PDF with both theory and problem-solving questions and answers. You won't find this kind of quality content anywhere else on YouTube. So. If you appreciate this effort and want to support us in creating more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and stay connected with Final Focus Studies. Your support means the world to us and motivates us to keep delivering the best study materials for you. Thank you for watching. We hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for more videos in this series. Good luck with your studies.